okay we are live again okay. hi awesome so we have 23 uh, 24 now 24 now <laughs> live attendees over here so first of all thank you so much everyone for joining us uh, for this instagram training session it is amazing having you here and i'm sure that um, aruditi will be helping you guys uh, with some amazing amazing instagram uh, you know uh, hacks and how you can leverage the whole instagram profile of yours to sort of grow professionally find clients and you know reach to the right target audience and everything that is coming soon so uh, a brief introduction about me and about aruditi once again my name is rashmi from design hill aruditi is a social media specialist working with us and uh, after a lot of requests from her i was i convinced her to you know do this training program for you all so we are pretty excited for this and i hope you guys are equally are um before starting out just few things uh, so that you know we can take this session forward um we have uh, i'm assuming a uh, few of you uh, you know might, might be new to live stream and have been have attending you know this uh, webinar for the first time so uh, in the chat section quickly you can introduce yourself where are you from in the questions tab um, uh, you know you can put your questions with respect to whatever questions you have related to instagram uh we will will be covering the entire session in different different topics so if you have any questions related to that you can put the questions in the questions tab and uh, what we are in the chat tab because yeah it because, will be lost yeah it, it will be lost within the uh, uh the messages so um, this and the end room. room okay uh, let me check that out <laughs> so is it fine now let us know if this is okay now in the meantime in the meantime i'll con- okay okay it's better in the meantime i'll continue so uh, you can put your questions in the question tab and uh, after every 10 to 15 minutes we'll go to the question tab to pick up the questions and arupti will be answering that um in between we can ro- we'll roll out few polls to understand how the session is going and whether it is helpful so you can uh, answer that as well um so that's yeah that's that's a brief overview about it and let's get started yeah arupti okay. yeah Hi everyone, this is Arudhiti. So let me know how excited are you? Because I am super excited to take this session. I don't. This is first time taking a session, so I hope it will be great. So um, let's get started. So I have prepared a small presentation for you guys so that uh, it is uh, m- more understandable for you all. So let me start off with the presentation. <clears throat> okay guys so i hope you guys can check out the presentation is it going fine the screen share guys can you check check this presentation out i hope it's going fine i hope you all can see this yeah guys please reply in the chat section if you can see the uh, presentation okay great 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 you can see the presentation okay fine as you know the session is all about creating an amazing instagram profile but i should tell you instagram is way more than just putting out beautiful feeds and actually I mean, instagram is only 20 to 30% of putting down good and beautiful posts i know as a designer we we always want to post great designs great videos of our designs but then it is actually not just about posting them it is way 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 more than that so let me start with the ascending orders of instagram so that so that it is very easy for you to remember how to uh, um, create a good profile 
let's start with leveraging your bio okay so uh, bio is the foremost and the first section you can you, you all know and uh, it's actually a very brief summary of you what you do and you need to keep it very relevant okay you need to keep it very specific because we just have 150 words to put on the bio and then why i have mentioned a relevant profile picture because when i say a relevant profile picture the profile picture should, should suit your work okay means in over time people tends to remember you through your profile picture when they see your stories when they see your feeds they actually remember you through your profile picture and uh, um, the, the 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 bio you are keeping should be very catchy and interactive and informative and first time when anyone is visiting your page they should know that okay this this is what the person do so let me just give you half of one of a great bio that we have is of this designer so look up the profile picture that she's carrying this profile picture automatically tells you that okay she is a designer because that is an animated profile picture then then you can see that she have put in the bio of floor and textile plus pattern i help designer transition into a more creative career in textile design art licensing free trend guide and then there is a very important section that is the link of your website in that link you can you can put in your website link that's fine if you have multiple links you can use the link tree link tree is another third party tool that you can use to put on different link okay and the, here she have mentioned the link okay and then this link is very very important because this will give the call to action to your audience that where they need to go where they, they need to check your work Okay, coming back to our presentation. Okay, a, way, a call to action we have covered and link tree we have covered. So this is the first section that was, I just dropped the screen share. Yeah, so this was the first um, um, section that we have covered is bio. And do you have any question related to bio? You can put in the chat, chat uh, in the question tab there. I hope there are some okay how often should we post we will be covering this topic later so and how many tags again we'll be covering this later is it too important to make a beautiful profile picture with a design background no 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 it's not that important to keep a beautiful profile picture again i'm telling you to keep it very relevant to your work you know if she was a pattern designer the lauren was a pattern designer should she kept it according to the works that she was doing what type of no type of tags should we use for okay so we'll cover these things one suggestion so uh, whenever we will be answering any question we can just click on uh, okay so start, start live answer yeah, so yeah. that people understand which question we are asking okay. so i have answered this question is it too important to make a beautiful profile picture no it is not important it is important to make it relevant to your work okay so i hope i have given a the answers to all the questions related to bio do you got project design from instagram yes if yes give a sample of project completed by instagram thanks there are many designers that do business but here we are actually talking about the basics of instagram will come on the design and business part later okay so let's i hope i have done with it yeah it's cool so now um uh, again i'm just coming on to the presentation part yeah so now we have done with the bio now there are some good examples of bio you want to okay so we have completed this leveraging your bio how link in your bio if you have multiple link again you can use link tree so okay going further comes down to the feeds the very important section so it's not just about amazing work that, that i've told you previously also so you need to include other sections also that the feed gives you option two that is videos crowds and post 
and uh, you know be, uh, behind the scene videos etc so <clears throat> um you as a designer it is very important to make your profile visually very appealing it actually matters okay i'll just give you an example of a visually appealing profile see this is a person band of thoughts and if you scroll down his profile it is actually visually appealing to you why because what he do he is taking this this is not how this is the only work that he do no he might have done more work also but to make uh, the visual appeal of instagram he is using that color tone to put down in the instagram he is using only those posts that go suits the instagram and instagram algorithm actually works like that you know means um, if you just putting down beautiful posts beautiful you, you are not looking up to what is going good on the instagram about your page is looking like whole as one page it will not work great so as a designer you need to know that see this this is i'm scrolling down again to make you guys uh, uh, to know that this is how your feed should look like visually appealing feeds okay this is how i mean that about it so now again okay so uh, we have covered this topic of feed using crowd and post videos and pictures and make it very visual appealing okay any questions you guys have related to feeds you can put it in the chat section uh, question tabs okay that kind of instagram profile we use it is good to make a business profile influencer or just normal again to become an uh, influencer and make a business profile we will be covering the topic soon but yes to uh, you know the harmony of the page should be it is very important because who have who ever lands to your page for inquiry or wait let me it's not coming to answer the question you have to do this and okay i'm sorry guys i'm not much familiar with live stream so <coughs> yeah i am answering this question what kind of instagram profile we use is it good for business profile influencer or just normal see whoever lands to your profile you know they they have a purpose of landing to your profile maybe they're scrolling through your feeds or they have some work with you so if they have some work with you your instagram harmony matters a lot and then there should be a link in bio where they should go and uh, how they should contact you okay i hope i am done with this thank you so much any more questions okay done now again coming back to our presentation next topic that we need to cover is a really one thing that i would like to add on yeah. the feed part yeah so guys um, um, you have to make sure that your feed should have a mix of a, you know a, a video and a carousel post probably if you want to educate your audience on a particular topic and a single post design that you can have so the more vari variation and the variety you have your feed is going to look much 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 better right yeah. so probably you know um, you know just find out that you know what works for you it is not necessary that you know you have to put just carousel or just one single post or just videos it could be a mix and match of everything or it could be just one thing that works for you that works for your your audience basically and the kind of work that you're doing so um you know that to be really, yeah that yeah. combination generally that combination is important and that is uh, you know that is that is how your profile feed should look uh, should look good but just in case you are not you know probably familiar with making a video or you know how to put a carousel post even if you put simple post that are um, that are talking to your audience and that uh, is talking to your followers that uh, you you are good to go yeah just so i have just given two a very good example of how your feed should look like so in the first example you can see first of all there's a harmony harmony of the post second he have put in the videos he have put in the carousel post he have put in the normal post and then again coming back to another example again she have if you can see she have put in her pictures also to you know interact with the audience it's not every time just design is then you should, the audience should know who is actually behind the design creating those yeah okay that makes you know you are interacting you are the face 
you you are giving the face uh, to audience to interact with them yeah so basically it's about another thing humanizing your uh, brand right exactly. you are humanizing your profile hmm. so uh, imagine you have you know 10000 followers on your instagram account and you are posting such nice stuff but they actually do not know who are you as a person who is posting this content and uh, and probably they would like to interact with you so it's about building that trust building that relationship with your audience so that's why it is very very important to have your own profile picture probably you know uh, a video of a video yours in a free video mm -hmm. of yours making designs you know that that talks about you that's talk about that talks about who is behind these designs so that's very important i think yeah okay so coming next is on the list captions okay anyone who have questions related to captions they can put in our uh, question tab i am just starting with the caption okay so um, many a times when you create a design i know as a designer uh, we believe to to tell the story behind the design you know you you wish to tell the story behind the design but many times it's actually not important because who are you creating the design for for your audience you might tell it the story to your kids to your mother they 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 may listen to it but when when it comes to your instagram audience when you are creating a business out of it it is actually not important to tell them the story maybe when it is very necessary you know when you think okay this information has to be floated to the audience and the audience should know Okay, when the audience should know, so um, then you can tell um, the story behind it. So, yeah, okay, okay. So, it, it. yeah. So long, long uh, captions tends your audience not to read the caption. It is very important. And as you know, as the algorithm of the Instagram only. one and a half or two lines are visible to the audience for the first when they scroll their feeds so make that two lines very engaging and when i say engaging ask them a question a very simple question see i have just um i have added an example of the question see peppermint mocha versus pumpkin spice latte or vote below so you know the, this was the first she has not spoken about her design she just speaks speaking about to, to speaking to the audience she want them to vote below you know that is very interactive see uh, so make it you can put an advice okay how my design is looking like what's your views guys tell me your views share your views and or rate this design you know you have to encourage the audience to interact with your design whatever your design is many times you just click your profile pictures and is this frame looking good on me so there are comments saying this frame is not looking good on me so that is again this algorithms works really great and i should tell you guys the posts which have good number of engagement goes up in the feeds and many times uh, there are more um, one profile can view your feeds multiple times if you if they have comments if they have interaction if the people sh are sharing your that things come up on the feeds maybe you can go to the explore section also if you have great number of share or um, saves or comments so you need to make people share you need to give them content on which they can interact and very important thing if you are using hashtags if you are using yeah if you are using hashtags if you are using uh, captions you need to um draft them like you need to give them spaces okay and by what i mean by spaces i mean see if you can see this post okay so this is the first paragraph he is saying then again a story behind it would you like to thank all of you for your content support and feedback he is just thanking the audience thanking the community for supporting and then again a space and then the hashtags so it is see whoever will view this may you know read all this because there is a um, um, 
a space to rotate the eyes correct correct right so you need to give the audience you just need not to bombard the audience with the content because the actual thing that they want to see is the design and if you want the audience to look up to your caption you need to uh, use gaps dots spaces etc and one thing aruditi that i uh, you know noticed over here is that he is prompting people to answer you know uh, the, the question about yeah. exactly and that is two on the first line yeah that is on the first line so basically we have to one the, if you guys are putting if you want them to comment on your designs tell them to comment on it if you want them to share the design tell them to share the design if you want them to save it just tell them right yeah, exactly so you have to prompt people to take certain specific action that you want them to do and the more that will lead to the higher engagement and uh, a higher engagement means your feed or your post is going to come on the top, top of, of the main maybe the explore section or the top of the uh, feeds of your followers yeah 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 so, so guys so i hope you have uh, got that yeah you have got that and i hope i have covered all the points from um, covering captions so we have covered all the points any any questions you have related to captions specifically you can put down in the question tab we are waiting okay we have a question from ron i use the same caption in all my post is that a bad thing wait a minute let me answer it and it is very important uh, again i'm reading out the question loud because it is actually important and people should know about it i use uh, the same caption in all my post is it bad thing yeah it is very bad thing why it is very bad thing because see uh, the people will look up to your post and then they tend to read the caption it is the tendency mean if we when you do it you there is a tendency you also go that you will just see a post and you tend to read the caption every time the same same um, caption would you know decrease the you know curiosity engagement of the audience it yeah. will do right because see if i put i'll just give you an example if i am putting my post and i am putting my um, picture just a picture and i'm putting hi guys how are you um, just share your news how this picture was again another picture just share your news how this picture was the share views the people will stop sharing their views i'm telling you so just use different caption i know it's difficult to prepare a caption for your design it might be difficult to prepare a caption because you are not posting your picture you are posting a design you know caption for your design yeah. so it is difficult but sooner or later you will get to know uh, your audience much many a times people do not share their views okay tell them to select rate the design you know putting 1 2 3 4 5 6 it is really uh, easy for the audience sharing the views is little much difficult you can post it when you have great followings and you know you can post that things later when you have great following Interview. Yeah. Correct. Okay. So uh, for for first time, you can use small captions. You can ask the audience to uh, do small things. Okay. And uh, and later on, you can just. But yeah. And the answer of the question is: Do no. not use the same caption caption in every post because it is not talking about your design. Imagine, you know. And Aditi really gave a good example that if you are using if if you are using the same caption in every every of your post, do you really think people are gonna say a nice picture every time? No. I don't think. I so. don't think so. You know because. as a as an individual i you know people tend to lose interest in it what is different that you are talking about you know every design has a story that you are creating so write down that story you know to begin with just talk about um, why did you design that for whom did you design that and uh, what does this design means probably you can start with that and eventually you know you will start curating good captions as well yeah so that's how you can get started okay so it done yeah, answering that, that question, question. Okay, so moving forward to the next question how long should be the caption where ashwini is asking let us we can start like answer how long would be the no mate see, there is no limit of the caption see i would say as i have told you the, given you the example ashwini that he has used a long caption he is telling the story behind but i will tell you one thing very important and this is not something mandatory this is just my observation is when you are growing initially people do not know you and you have less number of instagram followers so it is not important to tell the story every time it is not important to write a big caption every time how you created it and what is the feelings behind that and first your foremost thing is 
to bring attraction engagement on your account you should build a, a, a follower base to actually tell your story too so small caption would really work good you just can write a, just just an example you can use it you can just write one um, one liner caption is rate uh, the design from 1 to 10 okay just try it it's your account you can try anything just try i would say the best thing that uh, instagram uh, to use instagram is try 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 different things know your audience when you will try different things you're going to know your audience okay this is the this is the caption your audience is commenting on you might know this so just for initially use small captions just uh, and give gaps if you have paragraphs just give gaps and just use dots flags uh, to separate the uh, the paragraphs and the hashtags good cool. okay done and anything else else is uh, to idea to mix other okay, okay rohan has also shared the link so guys uh, yeah this is very important we are also going to review some of your profiles um at the end of the session so stay tuned with us and uh, we are going to tell you guys what good things are you guys are doing and probably what are the areas of improvement so um, i see two people have already shared uh, you know their instagram profile so feel free to you know share your profile and we will review it there okay there is a question is it good idea to mix our personal profile with a designer profile or we should create a stand alone see yeah it's a very dicey question i would say that means you if you are a very social person and uh, you uh, you have to keep your instagram updated on your personal life i would suggest to create a different profile and again if you are not much that social person you are not much into clicking pictures and uh, uh, showing your daily routine then you can manage with your uh, personal and designer profile just one but again social person if you are a social person go create a different profile and do mention your uh, work profile link there okay so that's it i hope we have given you the answer of your question yeah okay i think let's move forward and uh, we'll uh, answer you know other questions um, in the comment time cool so let's yeah caption is done is done okay be social if you are on a social platform and you has to be you have to be social just post thing <laughs> on your account just uh, you know monitoring your account is actually not a good idea you need to be social with your social community also when i say social with the social community means that uh, there are multiple people who are doing as um, similar work as you are doing some you know uh, some illustrator some doodle artist some pen pen art uh, artist and etc so they might be doing a good work and you there are many influencers that you follow for your work so you need to reply to them you need to comment you need to interact with them maybe uh, you you for the first time you cannot you, know, you the people might not reply to your comments for the first time because you do not have good followers but then these things i am telling you with my experience instagram algorithm actually work like this when you interact with your community uh, when you reply to their comments when you share their pictures give a shout out on your story maybe you have small following that doesn't mean it, it just show the love you have for your followers for your community means i'm just sharing a profile a, a, a design of i have less followers i'm just sharing a design of the person I Okay, if I'm sharing it, that shows that okay, I actually mo I'm actually motivating that person, appreciating that person. So it is very important to build a healthy relationship among your audience. Okay, so um, one thing that I would like to add over here is that, and I um, one of the person that I follow on Instagram, I read it there that you cannot expect engagement on your profile until unless you engage with others. Right? You cannot expect okay, that. Exactly. Yeah. So you have to you have to make sure that you are also engaging with those people who you are following on Instagram, replying to their. Um, post and uh, eventually once you do that once you create that engagement yourself um, you will also see engagement on your profile you know so it it goes like that it is vice versa it is like that give and take process you just can't be like no i don't want to engage with anybody else and but i want people to engage with my post and my feed that is not going to happen that's so, give yeah. and take yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's very practical guys that's how it works that, that that's how life even everything works like 
अच्छा दिस स्क्रीन वुड बी या इट वुड बी सीन या या दिस स्क्रीन दिस मच साइज नो 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 द बिग अप या या ओके so moving forward yeah moving forward let's okay you have been social now now create a page to involve your followers now uh, these are the this is just the uh, subtitle of being social okay so um, first we have to only a very interactive caption you need to include question time to time how is my design looking like and you should give a very human touch as we are taking this session it is actually a little informal session it's not a formal session why because we are talking about instagram being social and when i say being social means you need to you need to be you need to give a little touch of humor you can use emoticons okay and um, um you see you should use that kind of um, um content that actually suits your designs it's very important means how lauren the the pattern designer which i have shown you the profile of used to it she's very jolly she's very uh, cute she used very um, very um, you know uh, cute lovable captions so she is actually using that kind of caption and sharing is caring again we post content that inspires your interest too so this is just a just a subtitle of the first being social and again okay i'm just giving an example is this the second point is actually very important guys that is contest and give away and this is again comes down to pamper your followers and you need to thank them you know they are following you why are they following you your post, they, they are commenting on your post why are they commenting on your post because they like it and if they like it you need to thank them back yeah so you, then you need to thank them back you you should uh, run some contest or give away and just saying this is not like i have just 10 followers i cannot run the giveaway of course for 10 followers i'm not just saying but, but when you eventually grow and you see that you are growing people are following you you should run small giveaway small contest for a giveaway that could be your design for a giveaway you know you can just uh, uh, give anything any any small or small goodie like, so basically it's just about you know engaging with your with your uh, community and engaging with your audience and um, you know give away and contest is one of the example that that you know uh, it, it, uh, it a lot of people you know uh, do different ways uh, of engagement so of course you can try that out and uh, it, that is one of the good ways you know how you can interact with your audience exactly means many times people just to give away and tell the audience you just need to follow me you just need to tag your two friends and it's a very good activity for engagement not only for your followers it is it, it just give you two benefits it's like um it's it is treating and pampering your followers first and then it is increasing your following and again the post will go higher on the feeds people will start tagging their number of comments and the reach of your accounts goes high so i'll just give you a simple example of give giveaway um wait i'll just soon soon share the example of giveaway i've not mentioned in this slide okay so um okay now we'll come down to um the stories. next section that is stories okay it is uh, see story is is a very um, important and fun thing because in stories instagram has given multiple option yeah so in stories instagram have been given multiple options uh, you can use the story uh, from like um, you can tag audience you can go live you can use boomerangs and and it's the so stories for designer is uh, is is just a blessing because in stories in the people who have same account as the personal and designer account who have same account in the stories they can share the real life what they're having what food they're having what things they are drawing in stories you can create curiosity how you can create curiosity is like just uh, sharing your design in the feed and just asking the people this is a new design i'm coming with okay just wait for 5 days countdown you can begin a countdown and in 5 days something big is coming is stories and if i say there are views um, there is high number of views on stories than uh, compared to your feeds in in feeds you can you know monitor your views but again on stories there are high number of yeah. people who are actually not following you can also see your stories it is it is not like that people who are following you can only see you but no it, who does not follow you can even see your stories and hashtags work on stories okay so you can use hashtags on your stories 
so uh, in stories you can um, again interact with your audience because they are features of ask questions and going live you can build curiosity and again there is another section that is highlights there is another section that is highlights in highlights you can just save those important stories i'll just just give you an example of c this is how um, the designer choose the story like designers don't miss this one you can see you know now there is tendency of not missing the post decreases yeah right and then on the right hand side i just shared um, the highlights and how the highlight should be managed she had just mentioned shop she had mentioned free uh, skill share blog interviews question and answer my progress so um, this is actually these uh, highlights uh, you know the story timing is just for 24 hours and these highlights remains forever on your account yeah. so you can just save the in important information on the highlights and how it is done when you just post, put a story there is a small option down the story the story which is actually live there is a uh, there is option down the story that is of highlight you can just save that story can we show that not here we cannot show them here uh, on the laptop we can't no, so we cannot okay this is just small option of you can see there option there is very highlighted option okay this small option of being highlight so uh, you want that this one highlights highlights okay so there is small option of highlight you can just save your stories on the highlights okay anything uh, related to captions being social interacting with your community and stories any question you guys have you can put down on the question tab okay let's take questions now yeah <laughs> questions are fun is there any additional benefit if all social media profiles are the same if all of our social media profiles which are um but rehman i just want to ask you this question which is a follow up question why why will you why all of you let's say we are i don't know if we have got the questions right but i think you uh, mean to say that you know uh, you, you have you he, he might have different profile for personal and for design so just he, he you are asking that you should put down same profile pictures because the question is not very much clear like i'm confused whether you're asking for everyone who is present in the live webinar like let's say these 20 people or you're just asking about your own self that whether i have three accounts and if i'm posting a similar profile picture on three accounts so if you can clear that out um, um, you know if you can give us that clarity that would be helpful okay okay let's move to the next question no and we have covered all the first one okay for uh, giveaways or contests should we promote post means paid promotion okay should we promote post no 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 not paid for who's who's just saying paid for you if you can go for paid promotion it is good you can collab with some brand and you can go for paid promotion but if you do not want to go for paid promotion you can just you know just give give them something anything just you know just you need just to afford the shipping charges or you many a times if you have a good account you can give the shout outs So yeah, yeah. shout outs. I think uh, one example, uh, Ashwini, that I would like to give you here is that I don't know if you know about Design Hill. Uh, we uh, we we also launched a challenge, right? Uh, mm -hmm. In different different categories. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, wherein um, we were uh, you know asking for the design into uh, a pattern this pattern designs and typography and all of that. So um, so for that, so that was such a big contest that uh, we ran, and I think we received around five thousand plus entries in that. particular give away and contest wherein we were giving uh, you know we had a total sum of you know 10000 dollars and uh, an iphone uh, to the winners so uh, it was called design hill top 10 challenge now the scale of uh, the scale of that uh, yeah the scale of that contest and the scale of that giveaway was huge and hence we did run paid promotion for that but uh, not every contest or give giveaway uh, you know uh, require a paid promotion so you can just for example even if you have 1000 followers on instagram and uh, you want to run a giveaway you don't need, you necessarily do not need a paid promotion you know you can just uh, provide them some external benefits like some goodies or a feature or uh, you know whatever you feel can create a value for your community members so so uh, again uh, answering to your question you necessarily do not have to run a paid promotion for any contest in your case 
Okay, fine. Now we have covered all your questions and going further is the hashtag very important. Okay. Today, hashtag has been the king of Instagram and uh, the Instagram algorithm actually works according to the hashtags. So hashtag, what type of hashtag, how many hashtags, where we need to put the hashtags, very, there are many multiple questions. So see, your hashtag, if you are just putting the common hashtags like design, art or logo design, logo designers, your the tendency of your post being lost in the crowd increases because how you need to monitor the hashtag first if you just search the hashtag for art i'll just search it down for you see um we have logo designers so let's start for logo designers okay so you can see these this is the number of uh, posts that is registered as they are using logo designer hashtag so if you again you're using the logo designer hashtag you the tendency of losing you would increase right so i'm not telling you you not need to mention this hashtag you have to mention this hashtag to increase the reach of your post but again if you want to come up on the feed if you want to go to the explore section you have to use some specific hashtag and what i mean by specific is related to your art if you are creating some mcdonald's logo you have to mention mcdonald's logo art okay you can make your personalized hashtag it is very good if you make your personalized hashtag <coughs> like if it's i am i am here i can aruditi art so that's a personalized hashtag. When you start using this one, two, three times, my mind people start using it, your hashtags. Then the hashtags get popular. Your feeds, your posts come down to the explore section. So hashtag is a mix of hashtag is actually uh, combining the popular one with the more obvious or specific ones. Okay, you need to be. Uh, you can make a percentage of like ten percent. You. Uh, 15% you can go for the uh, most used one, 20% you can go for the specific one, and 10% you can use your relevant hashtags. And keep it relevant, what, what I mean by keep it relevant, see it is uh, many a times there is a tendency of people using uh, TBT on a logo designer post. And it is not actually required, you know, being relevant is like you need to put the hashtags related to your logo, your design, your uh, artwork, and your vibe, right? And the last thing is not to go overboard. Actually, uh, the Instagram allow you to uh, put down 30 hashtags, but I would say not necessarily put all the 30 hashtags because again, your caption would look lengthy and the tendency of people losing interest increases. So uh, you can put 25, 20, it's good. And again, just put um, uh, the distance between the paragraphs, some um, you know lines, dots between the paragraphs to put down your hashtags. So uh, that's all. Yeah, yeah. We have so I think the hack, the hack of using hashtag in Instagram is, is that you want to appear on that particular hashtag. You want to appear your post uh, on that particular hashtag. So if you want to get started, and let's say as Aruditi gave an example of logo designs around 2 lakh people are using this hashtag so do you really think that uh, if you are new uh, to the uh, you know new to instagram your first post will appear on logo uh, uh, logo design hashtag no so the only hack for that is that uh, use a relevant hashtag which uh, less number of people are using let's say logo designs for logo design for uh, food industry probably mm -hmm. and uh, if you want and uh, when somebody search for that particular term your post will appear uh, uh, up on the list on the top so that's the hack for it you know start using hashtag which uh, less number of people are using which has less post in it uh, so that your post can appear on the top mm -hmm. and uh, again it should be relevant and uh, in a combination combination of you should use the hashtag big hashtag also that have following yeah. but not much but less but you have to use it yeah so probably 20 30 huh. exactly from that yeah. sort of Okay, we have questions. Um, this is a good question. I wonder, does the time when you post the story post matters? Okay, I'm just answering the question right now. Okay, it is very important. It is actually very important. So thank you, Ron, for asking this question because I I have to cover this question later on, but it's a good time to cover it. See, what is the time to post the stories and uh, post? See, I would say 
um you need to check your insights i'll j we'll just give a uh, give a process of how to check your insights later on by the end of this presentation but maximum you need to post the posts and the stories maximum of them on the time when your users are active and how can you check that is on the insights the the insights give you the timeline when your maximum users are active and the timeline when your users are less most less active you need not to post put your content because again instagram algorithm works like the post reaches highest to the highest in just one hour actually i'm saying this and this is an observation this is the studies have been made when you just post it and in in just one hour if your if your post is going viral people are commenting people are um, you know sharing it the reach goes highest that's one hour you need to utilize it fully so put down your post and stories at the time when your followers are actually looking up and are actually uh, on the instagram using instagram okay i hope i have covered this question next question is uh how can you uh how we increase on instagram followers so we can reach more audience and generate more business see um, i'm just giving you know this is a very basic question and uh, how we reach our instagram followers so we can reach more audience and generate more business so see first time uh, first is you need to make a base of your followers then you can start up with your business and all those things because that that goes later on so uh, these were the points that i have told you before being social uh, in the section of being social we'll share this presentation with them yeah later on okay we'll share this presentation with them and in the in the section of be social that is and under that how you can engage with your followers that is the best thing to grow your following when you follow people people tends to follow you when you credit them when you feature them on your post when you comment on their uh, thing uh, on their post when you ask your followers to reply on your um, post and you ask questions interact with your community that can, account tends to grow it's not a big deal it will take time but it will grow okay we have answered this question next is there are multiple question you people are asking thank you so much is it possible to add portfolio in our instagram bio i believe i saw it once so i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm just came here we have done with this question but yeah uh, is it possible to add portfolio in our instagram bio as a yes of course that is the first thing that i have told you when when we were explaining the bio section that you have to because you're a designer and how will you speak to the people you cannot put down every post on your feeds there are multiple posts that you do for your brand that are not allowed to be put down on um, the instagram post you need to attach your bio link and we would say to attach the design hill member link always yeah. <laughs> that's the key guys so what you have to do is uh, uh, you all are uh, at the, you know amazing designers on design hill uh, have your design hill profile link in your bio so that anybody who is visiting your instagram profile can um, you know check your portfolio by clicking on that particular link so that is the key you know your profile uh, should have your instagram account link so that uh, you know the customers clients designers can find you and check out your portfolio so i hope this is the first thing that you are going to do after the session is over first thing yeah <laughs> we'll find you through whatsapp group here yeah. <laughs> okay please tell we are just giving please tell five important things to a new designer to create a face or a profile okay mezan this, uh, this presentation was going for the first time designers only we were starting from the scratch only so good bio captions regular posting interacting with your community and whatever this presentation talks about if you go with the flow you'll make a good instagram account not a big deal by the end of the presentation just tell you to relax down first you will create a good uh, instagram profile it's not a big deal when you you know it's very important to communicate with your uh, community when again what prashmi said if whatever you give comes back to you so you need to give to get back okay i think two two very important thing or you are asking for five important things <laughs> but i personally believe that there are two important things that you have to do you have to create content which your community members value which your audience value 
you cannot just you know copy content from somewhere else and post it in your feed and look like okay you are creating content and it is good enough you know for your audience so you have to create an original content that is created by you probably your designs and um, Uh, and that your audience and your community members can relate to that's one second is engage with your community members you know reply to the comments that they are putting on your account um uh, keep uh, keep updated uh, keep updating them with the, with your stories with your feeds um you know and at the end of the day do not uh, do not put on instagram just to increase the followers you know just uh, have an objective of providing certain value to the community and uh, it is going to do wonders for you so uh, the, again i have told you that how will you uh, judge that which content is going good with your audience how will you judge that just try different content. yeah okay you will eventually know what your audience is liking and what your audience is not liking so just try it's your account come on you are not handing someone else account you can try test hit and run do whatever to just check what your audience is engaging more upon yeah. okay we have answered this question okay also can the algorithm figure out if i have copy pasted a couple of hashtags no no copy pasting of uh, couple or a uh, couple of hashtag is not that in your uh, you know algorithm catches out it's not like that you can copy good and big hashtags and you can generate your hashtags also okay so how shall we choose the base hashtag and shall we do paid promotion also um see paid promotion i am not much into paid promotion means you can do it once in a month or twice a month no but that that depends upon what your objective of doing exactly. a paid promotion is like like you have to understand first yourself that why do you want to do a paid promotion you know mm-hmm. uh, if you are doing a contest and giveaway and if you want maximum participation then go ahead with that but exactly. if, if you are promoting a design just posting a design yeah. paid promotion does not matter yeah Yeah. means people would be like why why is this ad coming as sponsor ad hmm. means if you want you know how paid promotion looks like on your feed is like it's come down to sponsor ad so why is this coming to sponsor ad if you the best thing way where you can do the sponsor ad is you can collab with some small brands you know and then you can run a ad of giveaway yeah that's a very rashmi told you giveaway can be a good option to run sponsor ad upon so basically you have to you have to think first that what is your objective let's say you want to find clients through instagram then probably you can run a paid 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 promotion you know you might want them to find you on instagram profile hmm. um uh, and again for any contest for any participation for any giveaways then it makes sense to do a paid promotion so you have to be very much clear with the objective of it and then of course you can do that and uh, about the question the first part of the question choose the best hashtag. how shall you we choose the best hashtag as um, we uh, devoted 10 40 minutes to uh, make you guys understand about hashtag you have to make sure that um, you know combination of big hashtags like designs art which have great number of followings but not using them much because you'll be lost in the crowd using specific hashtags and then comes down to one or two hashtags that is specific to your account that you have generated yeah yeah okay done with this question ashwini thank you for this question and okay ashwini have another question like how can we collab with other artists see when you eventually go when you eventually grow how can you collab with another artist is uh, okay we now we are answering question so see when you eventually grow you get to know what kind of artist you really follow and uh, whom you want to collab with and how you can reach out to them that is why on the b b social um, slide i have mentioned to you know to comment to uh, use the hashtag that your uh, super artists are using to um, interact with them when you interact with them many times you can how how we do for the collaboration is like we ask the artist see we will give you a shout out on our page okay you can promote our contest that is how a collaboration with the artist go on many times it can happen ashwini that you can run a giveaway contest maybe you are running a, a design giveaway contest or a wallpaper giveaway contest so you are doing a giveaway and you want uh, your super artist maybe a artist which have great number of following you want to collab with that person so uh, you can ask the person but again you need to build the healthy relationship that the other person should listen to you right 
uh, why would that person collaborate you? Because you have a healthy relationship. Socially, you have a healthy relationship with that person. So first of all, build a healthy relationship with the person you will need to collaborate with or have a strong reason to collaborate with. Many a times, we collab with, uh, you know, for some noble cause. We collab with some hospitals and uh, etc. for some noble cause. So first of all, uh, do know why are you collaborating with the with with the designer yeah. what is the aim behind of collaboration then you can move forward but again build a healthy relationship with the people you are collaborating if you just knock the door and ask the designer to collab with me no one will you need to make a healthy relationship okay i hope you're done with this how okay how is it possible for us to promote each other within this community so follow each other on Instagram, first of all. So what do you follow have? each other on Instagram, share their post on the story. And if you're sharing, you can say, I love this person. I love this artist. This is the best artist on Instagram. You can do like that. <laughs> and then uh, um, you can go with, uh, you know, using their common hashtags, what they're yeah. using. Many a times big designers always have their specific hashtag. You can use that hashtag. You can tag them on your post. And you can reshare each other's work on on your own stories so that your audience can follow them, their audience can, can follow, follow you. you and basically get to know about your work as well. So so uh, now that you have asked this question to us, next the next thing that you guys have to do is go to the chat section, um, put your Instagram account link there so that people can find you there and follow you, right? So this is interesting. This is exciting. At least we can make create a good community here. Yeah, yeah. So oh, that's yeah. the objective of See, this slide is in the minimized. Just open the chat section. Okay. Uh, this slide is a minimized at the button for me. Where is the button to switch the screen to back to my right now? Okay, so I, guys, that's the right to us only. We are uh, we we only we are the ones who can navigate through the slides. So yeah, so we can do this thing. No, no, I think they are able to see us because we are on the bigger screen. No. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we have. Uh, can you share some account which you follow for inspiration? See again, for us inspiration is different. For you inspiration is different. Okay, so we we can just suggest you. Uh, can you tell us you are the logo? If they they are all the logo designers. I'm assuming that. Yeah. Okay, so I'll be just share some of the profile you should follow by the end of this uh, webinar session. I'll be just share some of the profile that we think you should follow for a good uh, logo designer profile. So I'll show you. Uh, I'll show. I'll show you guys two to three profiles, which is. Uh, and I I don't know if you guys are aware. No, no, logo designers club. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you are if you are aware that these are yeah, the accounts. Community. Yeah. These are the accounts which uh, uh, which uh, designing account. community runs. So logo designers club. If you are a logo designer, you can follow this account on Instagram and uh, for for inspiration. So let me share the link with you guys in the chat section so that you can follow this account. So all the logo designers out here can follow this. Then I'll show you. Um, Another Instagram. So why this uh, logo, uh, why Rashmi is sharing the Logo Designers Club account is from here you can, you, you, you know, you can follow the artists you like because we are just sharing and uh, um, sharing the art of good, good and beautiful designers. So from this account, you can follow other designers also. So she's sharing, sharing the link of the our community. So basically, this is for the inspiration only as the question uh, came to us. So if you want to, if you are a graphic designer, you can follow Graphic Designers Club and um, then search for, uh, and in the meantime, we'll also, uh, you know, share other links. We have around six plus Instagram communities which caters to pattern designers, typography designers, illustrators. Uh, illustrators. So we'll share the links also uh, by the end of the uh, webinar in the chat section. So you can follow these accounts for inspiration. Okay, how frequently should we post this? This question is coming uh, in the next slides. So let's start with the slides. We do not have okay. much time. Okay, so guys, we do not have much time. It's uh, almost wow. an hour now. Uh, we'll try to, um, you know, cover uh, almost all the questions, but let us first complete with the the slide first yeah okay we are done with the hashtags okay these are just the example of some good hashtags we'll share okay. the slides with them yeah we'll, we'll just share the slides with you okay now here comes uh, the answer of your question recent question that we organize and consistent what i mean by organize is the visual appeal of your post you need to put down behind the scene um, 
videos how you are creating the design because you know people are interacting more with okay these these kind of colors the person is using or these kind of this kind of software is the person is using okay very important to always remember the special days and events if it's teachers day if it's you know if it's independence day if you know there, there are multiple days there like christmas so black friday christmas there are multiple days that are coming so uh, you can um, you know you have to post about the days you can just create some designs about those days and it's very important because people tend to you know repost those designs so and then you don't have to bombard your followers with many posts it is very important you know i know many designers create multiple posts every day but again as i say to maintain the harmony of uh, your page you need not to post everything and anything you have to understand what your followers are asking for that is how you build the community if you just put put down everything your community might not build because they are like okay every time is this person is putting up anything 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 they might not comment etc but then again do not wait too long uh, i would say uh, if you are creating good and big designs you can go for uh our designs in two in, in two days okay once in two days or if you are posting regularly you can go once a day but not more than that and if you think the content is actually worth sharing twice a day then you can go for it but then again build value for your instagram audience why why keep keep yourself as the instagram audience why would you look up to the post why just because of the sake of sharing it you are sharing it or you want your audience to like it you know you are your audience to comment over it that is why you are sharing it so consistency i would say once a day you can post um once in two day you can post in a week you can post it to twice or to thrice but then don't wait too long or don't just bombard your followers you need to maintain uh, you know balance over it and then give good content to your audience if the content, the audience would not absorb everything okay i hope we have given the answer of how ashwini that how oftenly you should post next is okay next is is it dh profile name and ig profile name should be same to get one to no 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 not like that not like that it it, it should not be the same you know dh profiling and but yeah i would say that if you have the same common name on different different platforms it actually worth it because people tends to remember again that goes with the profile picture also that when you have a specific profile picture people tends to remember when you when you share the stories when you share the feeds when they see you on the design they remember and if the specific name actually works great but there is not mandatory to keep it but when you keep a, spe uh, a specific name on different platform it's really good and recall value so yeah it's not mandatory but it is important and uh, it helps in building it the consistency is important you know so if you want people to remember you uh, with a certain name and if you use that particular name everywhere that is going to help you eventually you know um, a more number of people will remember you by your brand name if there is that consistency so it is always advisable to have that it is not mandatory of course but yeah it is preferable so you can try to do that uh okay we are just losing one question that is can i use my old account yes you can use your old account anytime because you, again you need to start from scratch if you can use your old account you can you know how we say you can furnish it you know yeah. you can again start from the scratch so you can revamp just like you can revamp your old account have a just edit uh, you know instead of your bio you this option of edition so uh, click on edit edit your bio uh, edit your profile picture um you know uh, start posting good posts on your feed and yeah it might be using your previous followers let them be there yeah okay so okay we have covered this thing you guys so guys to... just a question um, uh, since we have already covered a lot of things um, about instagram how is it uh, how is the session going uh, let me do one thing let me roll out a poll yes. and it would be great if you can answer the poll because i we, we really want to understand whether it is helping you guys or not yes please put down uh, you know your uh, opinion on the poll yeah. that is it working good i are you understanding things are we conveying things properly yeah we have got the response oh my god 
Oh, we just one half. Okay, just one half. Just one have answered it. That's, that's so, not fair. We would really appreciate <laughs> all of you answer that so that we can conduct similar training program in the future as well. And you can also let us know in the chat section what other topics you want us to cover for you, which can help you grow professionally um, um, as a designer. So let us know that as well in the chat section, and we would be happy to do that. Okay. Okay. Coming back to the presentation, I suppose only. Uh, coming back to the presentation. Yeah, coming back to the presentation first because we just. Um, so guys, we are short on time. Uh, we'll uh, try to wrap it up in uh, next ten minutes. And uh, if you have any questions? Just put it down yes. quickly, quickly, quickly. We'll yes. just answer it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Much yeah. as we can. Yeah. Let's finish the presentation. First. Yeah. So um, we are being organized and consistent. Okay, very important and uh, manage your results. So guys, if you are posting it and you do not know where the things are going, where the results are going, you are just blindly doing things. After every post, first, I hope everyone has a business account. I hope you need to create the business account, guys. In the setting option, there is an option to create a business account. By business account, you can manage your results. By business account, you can check um, the, the the insights of your post. You can add on the links. You can add on the call to uh, um, call to action button. You know the website and the call to action. So um, yeah, manager results means you need to check your insights every time. I, I would say I am handling a Instagram page and I check my insights twice a day. Why I check my insights twice a day? I just check it. Okay, this this is the time that my followers are going live. This is the time. This is the area I'm getting my followers from. So th uh, this is the process I've mentioned because um, on Instagram again it's a phone software, so we cannot show it to you from the screen share. So um, this is how you can go to the insights first. Uh, just tap on your profile. You can go. You can see the option of insights. You'll just go on the insights. You will see the type of post. So why I was telling you to do multiple things on your Instagram accounts because from insights person you can you know that which posts are going high on reach, which posts have more comments, which posts have more engagement, which posts have more reach. There are multiple options you can check from. Okay, these are the posts that that see the, the first post have what sixty. 5k the other is got 661.4k so do more thing that we'll just do more thing that have got 65k okay now on the next tab on the activity portion we have the time we also have the days we have the reach and impression of a week okay then we're going on the other that is the audience where our audience from what kind of audience are following us is it female is it male and what time the audience are looking at are post to so uh, these, these this is how you can manage your insight and check your insights every post have an insight button you can check the insights from every post and then you can check the insights of your overall account from here at the end guys i will just tell you to relax because i know we have bombarded you with uh, <laughs> a lot of information a lot of information <laughs> but this is not just a one day work this yeah. would take time <laughs> to build a community takes time so just don't stress out because we know that you all are a super artist and you go do wonders yeah so that's about the presentation now we are just gonna take questions multiple questions are there yeah. that we have to take okay um how frequent do we post? We have answered this in the DH. How how to make my profile more visible to search results? Okay, so how to make my profile more visible in, in search results? See again, uh, to make your profile uh, go high and high, you need to post on content that goes out for more reach. And uh, you have to build your community. You have to, you know, make the audience comments on your post. Again, the more comments, the more save and share on your post, the more tendency of your profile coming on the top of the feeds of your followers and even the people who are not following you. When you use your hashtags and you can check from the insides of every post and how your hashtags work. Okay, so there are many times there are people on some some posts there are people who are not following you are looking up to your post. Okay, yeah. so this is how you can grow your account by using good hashtags, by using good content, and uh, asking the people to comment, and then again com commenting on others' profile and sharing the the 
you know the things that inspire you etc and again just going this through through this presentation and it's a i would say yeah so basically it's all about you know uh, how how much engaged your audience is with you mm-hmm. your community because just think of it from the perspective that how instagram will get to know that you are posting good content and how instagram will understand that the content that you're posting is helpful to the audience how will they get to know uh, instagram algorithm will understand that from the engagement that you are generating on your post so if your post is having higher likes higher comments uh, you know uh, people are saving uh, saving it tagging other friends you know tagging up uh, uh, tagging their own friends so that's these are the few things that you know um, uh, elements that that's how instagram understand that you are you are doing something nice and that's how it shows your content to your on potential exactly on the top of the feed to the potential uh, followers that you might have so that's that's the key to it okay so we are done with this question okay, okay. small question regarding the use the same comment in all my post can i go back and edit them would that help okay ron uh, you are asking uh, use the same comment in all my post can i go back like why we are talking about uh, why why would you comment on your own post you will let people comment on your post and right? if i was if you are putting a comment on others post you can uh, what you what you do you can delete so it them. has to be genuine enough you know <laughs> you, you can delete it but you can whatever he is asking you can delete if you just post comment on your uh, uh, feed you can delete it if you just post comment on others feed you can delete it it's your work instagram allows you to delete it yeah so you first of all you will not comment on your own post other people will comment on your post you can reply on your you can reply on the comments second thing if you are putting a same comment on other people's post do not do that because let let even genuine you know if you like a work like a photo and like that according to the instagram algorithm it will just post same comments on multiple posts instagram blocks you to do that Okay, <laughs> so you can, uh, so you can, uh, you can't do a uh, same kind of DM to people. No. You can't uh, comment same kind of comments to other posts. So, so yeah. Instagram identify you as a spammer then. Yeah, <laughs> it blocks you for a certain uh, hours, yeah. six hours or twelve hours, and then so don't do that. Don't mm-hmm. just repeat things on Instagram. And it is very easy. It is very simple to do, to be genuine enough. You can just do this. Genuine. You can just create heart on the comments. You can do multiple. Okay. Uh okay. Upar wo. Next the art. Okay. How to attract people for our profile? See content, again. Guys, <laughs> your content, content hashtags, geo tag your location. We have just skip that point. Uh, just location. The, the where you want your followers. Where you want to grab your followers from? Geo tag that location. It's not where you are creating your designs from. No, just you know where your followers are. Tag those, tag those locations. Sorry, not comments. The description. Okay, even the, the description. description can't be the same. You have to keep it different. You have to keep it different. It is good if you keep it different. Okay, how to attract people to approve? Okay, the answer okay. is given. Uh, this is answer. This is answer. You scroll up. I think we have answered maximum of the questions. Yeah. We are just going down, and we are looking at. Okay, so la- the last thing that we have to do, we have to check out the uh, review of the profiles. Okay, okay. We have been completely forgotten. We have these are the profiles. These are the profiles. Wait, wait. We have one more question. Ronnie, you have asked multiple questions. It's nice. Good. <laughs> A curious side. I use the same caption in all my posts. Is it bad thing? Yes, it is bad thing. We have answered this question back. Also, it is a bad thing to use same captions. Yeah. and do not do this now we are going to review some of the profiles so let's check it out this open all the and time. and we are just randomly you know picking uh, up picking it up so please mm-hmm. do not mind if we miss somebody okay there are three profiles we just review three profiles yeah okay um so the first thing the meraki girl okay so the meraki girl first of all if this is your designer profile you need not to put this profile picture if your family profile picture i we know uh, it, it's a very nice profile picture but as a designer you need not to put this kind of picture you have to change it and uh, if you really is if again if you are a social person you can create a different profile for your personal thing and you can uh, do whatever you want to do on, on that profile picture but here if it's a designer profile you have to maintain it like a designer profile yeah. 
yeah. again your uh, bio your bio you if you have not registered on designing you should go and register on designing put that uh, <laughs> that bio on you can share the link of how the people can register on designing no just click on your uh, profile just go to your profile uh, copy your profile link and go to instagram and put it there no how will the people register if she has no, not registered they are internal members okay okay they, oh, you all have registered so you have put in the why are you using your codes dot in link go and uh, put down the designer member link because there is the, your portfolio and people can look over it okay you are an artist animator learning game for authors collaboration yeah it's good. otherwise it's good just create good uh, um, highlights just go you i, I suppose there is no stories your feeds uh, if let us click on okay wow she is using Nice. Uh, she has submitted for IAC. Okay, teacher. Oh, it means uh, yeah. Okay. This is not going up because she has not used caption. Oh, okay. So you again, um, you have to use captions, and uh, wait. The first snow is like the first love. Do you remember your snow? Wow. Yeah, nice caption. This is a good caption. Do you remember your first snow? And of course, you got some comments there. Share with your special one. Of course, share with your special one. Tag the special one. But again, using couple goals and uh, made for each other would not go good as a designer uh, design feed. So you change your hashtag according to the design that you are. You can go love designs or like that. Yeah, but you have to. But this it. is nice. The overall the profile is nice. You just have to work on your uh, bio. bio, bit of the bio and the profile, profile picture. picture. That's all. Otherwise, it is good. And and yes, the these things, uh, the, highlights. the highlights. Yeah. So that's about the Milaki girl. Let's go and just check out the next profile. And Which, Ishan Bidai. Okay, Ishan. He's having seven twenty followers on his Instagram account. Photography nature. Again, Ishan. There is no bio. No, no. Yeah. Design and link is yeah. mentioned. Your profile picture do not say about that you are a designer. Okay. Then. So uh, even if uh, you are a photographer, it it says uh, you know photography okay, nature okay. and wildlife. Yeah. But if you can uh, explain your bio a bit, you know what you want people to do. You know call to action. Yeah. What is the call to action? Huh? See, do you want uh, people to DM you for a, for any photography orders or any uh, any photo shoot, anything, something, right? So you you have to have that CTA button. On your profile, um, the profile picture is nice. Can be much better. And let's go to the okay. The feed again. The hashtags. Again, the happy Ganesh Chaturthi. Okay, fine. You are covering one event, but again, the hashtags are not safe. Nature, nature colors, nature perfection, safe wildlife. This hashtag would not work. Safe wildlife. You would be capturing some people who are doing, you know, saving the nature and all. If you are to attract the designers, you have to. You can go for nature illustration, nature artwork, and all those things. So do not use again. Be uh, very relevant with your hashtags. Yeah. Okay. uh let's check one uh, one more of his post so this is about photography so let's check this out okay no description here just a hashtag um you have can you go down can you go down yeah okay in blog people are commenting hashtag. also but yeah if you would have uh, written bit description about it along with the hashtag you you might have written description about it have you visited this place Okay. Uh, yeah. What are your views about this place? How yeah. is this picture exactly? Yeah. Uh, and again, yeah, just the bio and the profile picture has to be worked upon. The rest is good. Next okay. is we have dear pixel. Okay, dear pixel graphic. Okay. Okay, dear pixel, you have graphic designer, visual artist, identity illustrator, logo. I live for my dog. See, uh, we uh, we we also really love dogs. But um, in your uh, description bio, as a designer, you should not write like I love live for my dog. You can you can go for dog dog lovers and etc. But we are highly obliged that you have mentioned the link of designer. Yeah, this is really nice. You have uh, mentioned designers for uh, you know to. portfolio link of your so that people can come and visit your portfolio um Arudhiti, what do you have to say about the profile picture? No profile picture. You have to change it because if I if I just scroll down our dear pictures and I see the heart there, I can never judge that he is a graphic designer or he is a visual designer. Yeah, so and probably it. you can work better on your profile picture. Uh, the bio is fine. Uh, can be uh, you know bit better. bit better. Of course, the you 
Do you care much about yourself? A little more. You have Instagram logo, Illustrator logo. It's good. Okay, fine. But in, stop using this. Uh, wait a minute. Do not use these circles. You know, to give gaps. Make it little more uh, appealing. Appealing and more specific. You know, small things. Yeah. Okay. When pixels come to play, graphic art, design, hill, kids' time, toy beds. See, you need to work on your hashtags a lot. Kids bed, kids Photoshop, creators. These are not the hashtags you should use. Okay, you have used the DH hashtag. It's good. And uh, I should say that if this is if this is your work, this is really nice. You need to work on your uh, bio and your hashtags. But I, one one thing I'm noticing uh, here, dear pixels, that you're using the same description in every picture, which says that pixel come to play. So that yeah. might be his, uh, you know, line. He's probably yeah, <laughs> might work for you. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, again, Instagram analytics will help you know whether these things are working for you. But again, you can you should definitely try with uh, some other description as well, and then you can. Yeah. Questions to the audience, interacting yeah. question because yeah. there's no comments on the um, on any designs, etc. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So, uh, so <laughs> again, um, just profile on. picture you have to work upon and bit of hashtags and hashtags and caption. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that's it. Okay, we have we it's uh, we are about to complete for another half hours in this webinar, and I think um, um, we have answered most of the questions. Oh, so let's just let's check the last um, uh, profile of Instagram profile. Harshad has shared. How do you find it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is the last thing that we're doing. <laughs> this is the last thing that we're doing. We're sorry. Otherwise, sorry. this session is not never gonna end. <laughs> Guys, don't worry. We'll come. We'll come up with a part two as well. Don't worry about it. If you it. really love it, you do let us know, and we'll come up with a part two in which we'll just tell you more about business things, how you can develop business, yeah. etc. So go to forum. Go to our forum, and uh, we have a board of ask the community there. Visit there and let us know um, if you want these kind of sessions again, and we'll reward you there. Okay, good. So here, uh, okay, it's, it's, it's a good uh, bio. I would say it's a good logo. I would say because uh, the logo defines that you are a logo designer. Yeah. Okay, graphing and logo brand identity cool. The highlights uh, you can create a good highlight again. The highlights are very less, and uh, you can give a. Uh, Totally, he's just typing out. Yeah. And I can do the highlights. Uh, one thing which is nice that his story is there. Yeah, his story is. I did not notice the stories of other people. No, they were not. There were no, there were no stories in the previous profiles that we reviewed. So yeah, one That's thing. Nice profile. Yeah, and he is also putting design hill uh, uh, profile link, which is nice. Um, uh, Harshad, I think one we can have a bit more of a discussion because the Instagram allows that, right? In the bio. Yeah, Instagram has one fifty words in bio. You can yeah. use it. Every you can leverage one fifty words in your bio. So make sure you can uh, you use it wisely. Again, you need to okay. The hashtags are pretty good. Okay, you need to work on your caption, cosmetic brand logo. See, this is not your portfolio. I would say this is not your Instagram is not your portfolio thing. So here you need to interact with your audience to grow it. You would have asked your views over the logo, read this logo, and how, what do you think about this logo design? So don't create it as your portfolio. Create it as your community thing. Yeah. Okay. Work on your design. Just geo geo tag from the from where your you want your audience to be. And okay, you have used carousels. It's good thing. Just use some videos also and. Uh, I would say it's good because you have used, you know, the harmony of the posters. Yeah, it's nice. black. Yeah, it's, it's the background, really nice. which is nice. Which yeah. is nice. Okay, perfect. But uh, you just need to work on your captions. That's all. Yeah, that. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us and putting so many questions that we are tired now. <laughs> and uh, it's been one and a half hour that we are speaking. And we are so, so sorry if any question is left. We have tried our best to answer all your questions. And. Uh, Thank okay. you so much for amazing share. Yeah. So guys, uh, last but not the least, go to forum. Um, uh, let us know what other session, uh, training session you want us to do. Because um, just to let you guys know, this is just the internal community training session that we are doing. This is not this. This training was not for external designer members. This is just for you guys. Lucky so, guys. 
So just uh, go uh, go to forum, uh, ask the community board, and let us know what uh, what all uh, training session you need from us. And if you have more questions, just put it there, and we'll try and get back to you there as well. I hope you like the session. And get the presentation and the video. Also. We, you you guys will get the presentation video, of course, since you uh, you have registered after this. Uh, once the webinar is over, you will receive the recording of the video. Uh, recording of the webinar, sorry, and the presentation we will share into again in the forum. So uh, you will have to visit us the community section um, or resource design resource section for that matter um, uh, for uh, getting the presentation and. Um, uh one announcement that i would like to make uh, to all the <coughs> community members here is that we are coming up with a new feature which is called a social sharing feature on insta uh, on design hill uh, wherein if you are a pro designer not a pro designer or if you want to share any of your milestone or achievement that you have had on design hill you can share it on your within your community on instagram facebook twitter There was a bit of um, troubles with the internet, but yeah. Last but not the least, hope you enjoyed the session and uh, do let us know how did you find it. Okay. Yeah. Bye guys. Bye guys. Bye.